Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode with Reginald from Glover with Cash. Um, in our video today, I'm going to be talking about how I got into debt and got into over $40,000 in debt. If you have not already done so, please make sure that you hit the like button and also hit the subscribe button to listen to more videos from me or watch more videos from me about how I paid off debt and also just personal finance. So how I ended up with over $40,000 in debt. When I was an undergraduate at Texas A&M, I did not have any student loans at all. I did, however, open up credit cards and I was very diligent about paying off those two credit cards. So I had a city credit card and I also had a Discover card and it was both the student cards and they started off with 0% interest until I decided I didn't pay my bill and then your interest rate shoots up. So that was the very start of my debt journey. <laughs> So when I was in college, I worked multiple jobs, so I didn't really need the credit cards, and I mostly paid them off each month in full. It wasn't until um, close to graduation time where I really started to run up my credit cards because I had an internship and I was no longer working at my paid job. It wasn't a very smart decision because in college, I worked two jobs most of the time, and I I don't know, I was just very young and just, I don't know. But then also too, the summer after graduation, I didn't have a job yet. So I would just live off of my credit card. I was able to buy food, I was able to hang out and have fun. And that was the very start of my credit card journey. And then I happened to get a job um, working at a high school and I needed clothes, of course. So then I got an express card and a macy's card so that i can get a new wardrobe for my job so i moved from college station to houston and then the job i'm at i'm working for a grant funded program getting paid twenty five thousand dollars a year to work at a high school to help to get kids to college and i did a pretty good job at my job but it was ridiculous how much i spent money i was shopping every single week um whether i got paid or not and you can imagine how much if you're making $25,000 a year, my paychecks would be like, maybe $2,000, um, a little under $2,000. I can't remember. Actually, we're under $2,000 with benefits and everything. Once a month. So for someone that cannot budget, you can imagine someone fresh out of college making $25,000, but also only getting paid once a month. And that still probably was an excuse for me to even be running up credit cards because at the time, I had two roommates. We were staying in a house, and my portion of the rent was only three hundred seventy-five dollars. With the bills, I was paying less than five hundred dollars a month. So, and I didn't have a car now, not yet. So shopping every week, and I would go out twice a week with my friends and my partner, boyfriend at the time, and I was just living. So I continued on that journey. Went to graduate school. In grad school, I took out student loans, even though I didn't need student loans. My tuition was covered um, because of the Hazelwood Act for my dad. And then I also had a graduate school. I had an assistantship to where I got paid monthly. And I also had another part-time part job working at a um, rehabilitation center. I was working at the high school. I ended up getting a car note because I just was like following what everyone else was doing. Everyone, I wanted to get my dream car. My dream car when I was a little kid, I wanted a Camaro or a Transit. But I mean, it did impress other people. But that's that's where I went wrong. The mask that I had on before um, when I lived in Houston, I couldn't quite wear that mask because I didn't have, I had this huge car note and I had these bills and I had this little bit of salary, but I also had to make time to study. So fast forward years later, <laughs> I graduated college in 2011 and then years later, um, it is 2017 when I finally really, really tried to get a hold of my finances. Um, I attended a financial literacy class. One of those classes ended up being a darn um, multi-level marketing. And I just was like, yeah. <laughs> So yes, but then I ended up going to another financial advisor who offered his services. Like he offered free courses and then a consultation and I could not afford his services, but he did give me a lot of tips. Up until that point, I was like around $48,000, $50,000 in debt. And then I was, I still had the debt. 
and he told me about Dave Ramsey and he also told me little tips about even the grocery store which is ridiculous like you don't have to get the whole bunch of bananas you can just get two since you live by yourself and like just that little bit of advice is like oh wow like, <laughs> that was so helpful but I ended up learning about um, Dave Ramsey and also I was considering debt consolidation and so I talked to debt consolidation people and some of them were nice. One of the company was nice, the other company wasn't very nice because I chose not to go through with their services. And then I just started to really, really listen to um, Dave Ramsey. And so that's where I really started paying off my debt. Um, and I joined the debt free community by making an Instagram account. And I just had a lot of accountability. But my debt, how I got in, ended up with all of the debt was seeking approval of others and craving approval of others and attention of others. Um, I wasn't buying clothes every week for myself because I don't even, I do like clothes, don't get me wrong, but I don't even like clothes that much. Like when I buy clothes now, I'm like, okay, this looks great. But then I end up wearing the same clothes over and over again. So that wasn't for me, that was to impress others. Um, I was going out constantly and I'm not even a person that has to go out twice a week. That, I don't know who that person was. Um, I was just trying to fit in and I guess I had never really lived life in that way. In college, I was very much about school and about my work and I didn't really get to experience, you know, a big social life in college. So that was my way of doing that. Um, and then the car, um, I was just trying to prove that I was cool by having a cool car. I had bought an Acura for my aunt in high school. It was a 1998. And then I I um, eventually, basically, I messed up the car a whole lot by running into something. Um, but I, but yeah, even like I got the Corolla, it was great. That wasn't a car where I was trying to impress anyone. Um, but then I got my Camaro and I was like, okay, I really, really, I was really trying to impress others. And that was just where my life was at that point. And I also um, believe that debt was brought on by ignoring self-care, taking care of myself and creating boundaries for myself. Creating a budget creates, a bound, creates boundaries for your money. But you also have to create boundaries in your life um, that go along with that. So I can't go out because I don't have money. That's okay if you can't go out because you don't have money. Um, if a person can, cannot accept that you cannot go out, then they're definitely not your And I'll just be like, oh, it's not my budget. I can openly talk about that now. And that's another thing. Um, shame is another thing that brings on debt. So when you're ashamed of having debt or you're ashamed of talking about your finances, it's, it's like a snowball effect in a bad way. You know, you just keep taking on more debt because you're not paying attention to your money. Um, yeah, so the debt-free journey has taught me a lot. It taught me to have boundaries, have respect for myself, say no, take care of myself, put myself first. Um, it's taught me to speak up for myself. Um, and it's taught me that you don't have to be like everybody else. Those are really the reasons why I ended up in debt. I was trying to, I was always trying to cover up how I was feeling. I was in a, an emotionally abusive relationship and then it turned somewhat physically abusive um, when I was 22 to about 25 years old and then got in other relationships that were very similar. Um, so I would mask and cover up that by going out and by drinking and by buying clothes that I didn't need. Um, and there's nothing wrong with any of that. I can, but when you're not dealing with what's going on in your life, um, that's what happened. And finally, the most important thing um, that I've learned from having all this debt is that you need to have grace for yourself. Um, if this was your friend that had a lot of debt and they're trying to get out of debt or anything, your friend will be very nice too. So why not be nice to yourself?
And I think truly, if you're going on your debt-free journey and you find your, you're finding yourself um, like stuck or alone, you're definitely not alone. Um, you have people like me that are here to cheer you on. 